Hello, everybody. I think I'm ready to get started. So, our original stream was postponed since I was feeling very, very tired. Then I slept. Then I saw OBS updated. And I'm like, eh, I could do a mini stream, I guess. Well, welcome, Dango. Welcome, Imperameter. We'll do the Phoenix summary, I think, for next week. Since I wasn't feeling in the mood to do uh, another Phoenix game tonight anyway, regardless. So let's see if this OBS version is stable. So far, they did not fix the thing that I had to complain about, so... Already, already given it a D. <laughs> it only gets an F if it makes it worse. Welcome, Dr. Pillow. Hope you're doing well. Chat, you know what I learned today before we go into PSO? Why are there so many Sonic at the Olympic Games? I thought there were like two, three. I'm looking at this list. There's a 2008 one, a 2009, a 2010, a 2011, a 2013, and there's a 2016, a 2019, and a 2020. Like, did he not win the Olympics convincingly enough? <laughs> Honest questions, chat. But anyway. Tangent. Let's go in, uh, I guess we'll boot up here. So I guess we can start a little warm-up with, uh, TTF. So people are ready to hop in, that's great. If not, got some time. Well, usually if I... Shattering all world records for any running events. I know, it feels so one-sided. It's just like, how many of those would not involve speed? <laughs> you would just win instantly. What a cheater. I was gonna say, did, did they have to redo them because Mario got caught eating shrooms? Taking illegal drugs? Performance enhancing drugs? See, that would be the real lore. Hear that our Sonic's juicing on the, uh, the rings. Accidentally Super Sonic's in front of everybody. It's the only explanation. This has got to redo them. Everybody cheats. It's like the concept kept just in between gay characters funny, but actually everything would be pretty much very one-sided. Exactly. Ooh, Dango with the 180. Somebody, somebody's been playing some PSO in their off time. You were definitely not 180 when we were last playing. It was not that long ago that we played. See that? I paid attention. What For once, I, I figured it out. I did it. So I guess I could make a, a quick TTF. Whoever wants to hop in can hop in. We'll be in block two, Fodra. I mean, Ramar gives enough buffs, honestly. If we have a good team, you don't need more than Ramar. If a force comes, that's also fine. This means more damage. When it unsealed your swordsman lore. Nice, nice. Grimmator says he'll join the next one. No problem. Do a couple warm up ones. Oh, Tiggy has arrived. And Tiggy has crashed. Tiggy is too powerful. It's the only way to nerf Tiggy. Just never let him join the game. Rip Tiggy. Oh, I like the clouds and the sad face. That is a that is a good emo. I like that. See, like technically the creation of the symbol is kind of what I want when I go to play like a game like PSO, where I don't feel anything inherently inspire me if you put like a pencil in my hand and to draw something. But if you give me like random templates, I do have fun with them. I think the problem is that I kind of need, like, a team template versus, like, doing it for each character individually, because I would not want to remake this for, like, 14 characters. Welcome, Hulkley, for Tiki. 
Like, I, I didn't really mess around with this too much. Is there a way to just quickly enter a code? Kind of like if you have like an... Like a... What is it? That, what are they called? The Mies? Just quickly create one. Welcome, Tiggy. Game Crash has all that about taking a break. It made sure. PS6 looked a normal tower quest. No worries, Tiggy. Welcome, Chaosvania. I guess I call you RJ Chaos. Whatever you prefer at this point. But we have one open slot. We'll leave it open for about another 30 seconds and then we'll get started. But please let me know if you're trying to log in because we'll wait a bit longer. <laughs> RJvania, maybe. Think capture is your only quick option, but that's just copy somebody else's thing. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I guess in theory I could do what is it? The dual boxing. I really wanted to uh, individually log into my own characters and copy my own emotes. That that seems like too much of a, a hassle for me to do. Oh no, we're we're starting. We're doing warm up TTF help leave. We're we're not doing RBR today. RBR will be another day. That'll be Sunday. This is just late night, whatever the team wants. Yeah, I like starting with a little TTF. It, it, depending, I guess if if I'm not in the mood for TTF, I guess I could do solo box runs. But since people are here, it just makes more sense to do something like TTF. Oh, Tiggy waving his hands. Meanwhile, I'm going to angry stomp. Grrr. Yeah, eventually I gotta level some of my other characters, but I figure I'd start with Ramar. Depending on who's around, I'll switch characters. So I have a lot of people that could do TTF. Yeah, if there's any rares you're hunting in particular, just let me know. I'm accommodating. As I said before, there's only a couple items I'm looking for. Cannon Rouge, Heaven Striker, Psycho Wand, Ajito, just because I want to see it once, the 1975 one. Uh, maybe a limiter. Thank you, Charlie, for subscribing. Sorry it does not like doing your name in the announcement. I, you know what? I might have to make one just for you. I'll do like an exclamation mark one since it just refuses to do it. They've not patched it in over here as, I've, as we can see. Uh, I'll leave this bringing the foam oral. That's fine. I'm sure he wants to try that elemental glitch at some point. And honestly, if people are not knowing what to do, you just do Endless. That is a safe pick for me. Hopefully you're doing better, Charlie. I haven't been able to catch Chris Gordon's streams as much, but I do try to stop by when I can. I like how he was never targetable. <laughs> Don't be targetable, he already died. Thanks, loading screen. I think I saw that they added polls to Discord now, like actual formal polls, rather than having like a bot run it. We'll probably have one up later in the year. It's a little early for it, maybe closer to June. For a next big game slash series. Oh, sorry to hear work's been keeping you busy, but not in a fun way. First five egg roll, got my safety heart, nice. Hellcleave reminding people that it's 30 accuracy to Rambling May. That item I do remember. I guess... I guess the way I view it... I think I like it if I'm doing episode 2. I don't know if I would use it in other episodes. But it is useful there. The only downside is that... Uh, I do like to swap if I'm playing later areas between Slicer and Fnatic and that. I mean, technically, I could shield swap between the two of them. I could treat it like an actual one. Yeah, like, I would agree. It's also good for falls. Tiggy says, did four Tenet Gambles, four PD attained. Rip Tiggy. 
Let's go to get a raise. Set a shift to level 20. Should probably pick that up for people. Cannot avoid Resta. I I promise you it was not me. <laughs> Rip Tiggy. You watch. I'm gonna get the rare slime now after not getting it all last week. Tim G. Sean says, Hey Ziggy, hey chat, hope everyone is doing well. You would not believe how bad I got trolled. I'll cleave telling you to berserk harder, damn. I'll cleave almost hitting you with that hashtag skill issue on that one. And falls drop a rare and it was a photon drop. That is very common, unfortunately. I wish I could say that that is a unique story. I think that's happened to literally everybody in this room. It's sad when it happens. I would say I would say the painful one is when it's Easter egg. <laughs> the Easter egg hurts the soul. That one hurts more than the PD. Oh, oh, now I get the rare slime. Yeah, where? But it's on the wrong ID. It doesn't matter. Oh, I hate you so much. Chat, we were we were doing this literally like I don't know like 40 times off stream and now I do it it's always the wrong ID it's so annoying I feel actively annoyed at it chat like I, like I don't care about morning glory I wanted to get that lava's cannon shake my head chat you know what do I pick it up even I don't even know I guess I could drop a Rye grinder for now. Just to say I have it. I'll pick it up out of spite. How's that chat? It, it gave me a machine morning glory, I guess. Stupid. I should probably put a weapon away. What weapon am I not using? Hold on real quick. Oh, I don't need frozen shooter for this. Yeah, I could take that away next time. But hopefully you're doing well. Currently saying let's put it in a different section. I got a 53 cent ways. Uh hopefully it continues to approve. Guess I should switch to Excalibur, see what happens. Goodbye, boss. Was that a Darkbringer? Drop a PD a week or two before the falls one. Yeah, sadly, common occurrences. I mean, Photon Drop is... Actually, does anybody know the odds offhand? I want to say it's 1 in 500 by default, as is Easter Egg. Chat can correct me. It changes on difficulty, for clarity. It's definitely like 1 in 1800 or something in normal, but I forget what it is in Ultimate, other than not that terrible. At least six out of an early morning drive tomorrow, so you can help head to bed. Hope your stream go well. Thank you, thank you. Hopefully we will hear something other than Sonic at the Olympic soundtracks. Yeah. See, that's the that's the ones where I've definitely looked it up. Egg PD item. Yeah, that sounds about right. That that always goes I always have to search that topic in the forums whenever I get confused for the rolled order. I mean I guess I should die mate. Where am I aiming? See, that was that was the player skill issue that was in the game. That's what I get for reading chat. Rip Dango. Got you, Dango. Oh, it died already. It was like, I saw it leap backwards. I didn't see it actually die. Yeah, so we'll see. I, I don't expect to get Red Ring on stream. I, I got one off stream already. I'm good. See how Cleave showing off the safety heart on his character. I think the problem with it more is that it... I think it makes sense for bosses. I, I guess I could bring it for bosses if I were to do the 5 egg gamble. I haven't been playing enough to get like a ton of eggs though. I'm only up to 10. the team take care of that. I have no interest. Boom. Take that switch.
Okay, give, <laughs> give Chad a chance to get through. There we go. Easy. Uh-oh. Did the music stop? Was that the whole soundtrack? Did we did we finally get through the Olympics? Did we do it, chat? We did. Wow. Okay, next game. Don't worry, chat. There's like five more Olympics to go. <laughs> At least we'll break it up a little bit. Goodbye, Bolt. Uh... At some point, this character needs a V801 full time. So that way he could do the Excalibur trick. He's at the level where I could basically get away with it. How did that not kill? What? How did that not kill? I feel like I got robbed there. I must have been critting or something weird. Normally, three monitor is very consistent. Rip three monitor, I guess. Goodbye, boss. I wish I could pick up these skip dolls. I'm out of room though. I gotta put stuff back later because I, I do want to keep collecting riders. Those are actually somewhat important to me. Just sadly no room. So I think I'm gonna weed out some items when I go back. I'm just gonna sell like my dye fluids or whatever. I thought about that HP material. I think I'll skip it. I'm assuming somebody's going to the sorcerer so I didn't bother. Pop some boxes and some here. Game, please. Yeah, might as well just kill the sorcerer since we're here, I guess. Just mercilessly gun him down. You never know, we could get our first cycle wand on stream. Regardless who picks it up. Goodbye. Look at that clean dodge. Nice try. Just in case Tiki's waiting for TP, I'll put it up. Yeah, we'll just uh, do whatever. It's rare week. We will eventually do RBR. I don't know. If team is really in the mood for it, we'll do it today. This is more of a bonus stream. Like, even more than a normal bonus stream normally is. One of these. Yeah. I think after the stream Sunday, I'm just gonna sit down with my notes again for Hunter and Force, clean them up a bit more. I think all the items are there at least. Like the easy one, like that. this is how you know this list was a work in progress. I didn't even have V801 on the Force list. Like that. that's how you know I didn't finish it when I was first talking about it. That's why I didn't want to go over it. Kind of one of those essentials. Yeah, definitely interesting to see potentially game philosophy of like item order. Some of them are much easier to get. So I'm thinking more. Oh my gosh, I did 2000? What? Do I have a dark? I mean, hold on. I need to know after he ro after falls rotates. Okay, it is dark percentage. I was like, there's no way. There's no way that's a zero in Heaven Striker. I don't believe you. Oh, almost. 
almost, almost. I got greedy and didn't want to cure the slow mo. I got one heal in, but that's not good enough. I was trying not to heal Tiggy there. Oh, dirty short cycler. Dirty Chad. Wave your finger. We don't want to see short cyclers here. You commit to this combo against me. Oh, this is for Green Hill Zone? I was curious what stage this was. I mean, I think of it as a beginner stage, but nothing about this screams Green Hill to me so far. I was gonna say, by the lack of excitement, I think no red ring has appeared. <laughs> Telltale signs falls has disappointed you. No pop off. Yeah, let's go. Let's go sell some items if we're gonna do another TTF. Because I have way too many junk items on. I definitely got to be able to pick up better stuff. So I'm gonna leave all the materials in my inventory to make sure that I can always pick them up. But I need to get rid of some other items. So actually, let's put the winning glory here. Shift away. Got the event egg. Tiggy's volunteering his spot. Thank you, Tiggy, for the run. Hopefully you enjoy your break. Say goodbye to my frozen shooter, because I never used it. Honestly, even in this run, I barely use Charge Falcon. I might put it away. I've been using Heaven Striker Yashminikov, because Heaven Striker with Dark is just so strong. I might actually bank my charge Vulcan. I can't, I don't see a boss I would use it on at this point. If we're doing TTF, there's other reasons I'd use this, but no, not in this run. I think I like my dark percentage heaven striker. Cannon Rouge with 30 hit? Aw. That'll be us one day, maybe. Goodbye, Babuda. So let's put those away for now so I can hold all the grinders. And then we're going to... I, I know help you. You don't. You, uh, I, I'm gonna call it what it says on the ticker. I, I don't feel like saying every single time it's 40 tech. I get exhausted saying it. It's so tiresome. I'm just gonna roll my eyes at it. It's just like I know. It just it just adds too many words. I just want to call it the 30 untech or something. Let's get rid of the dye fluids. Perfect mayhem. Oh, Eldritch is rated. Welcome, Eldritch. Hopefully you're doing well. Okay, so I'm gonna collect my money. I guess I'll do another one. How am I doing? I love I can barely see Eldritch's thing on the chat. He's trying to blend in with the dark purple. Welcome, Project Omega. Hope you're doing well. So we have a free slot. If somebody wants to hop in, just let us know. Otherwise, we're going to go back to some boss murder during Easter. I'm doing okay-ish. I needed some rest earlier, so I, I slept like another two hours. Open parameters here. Looks like the slot has now been filled. So we'll wait on help leave. So now I have two free open slots in case I find techniques or something. But now I now I can keep all the grinders that we see. My little mini adjustment. Is realistically I only need to recover TP every rare once in a while, and Dimate Trimate is probably good enough. Like the little hand. Good to see me back on the PS grind. 
Yeah, I mostly save it for special occasions. I don't casually play it as much as I used to, mostly because I have everything at this point that I'm happy with. It's like a couple of rare items I might go for, but I'm not in a rush for them. As long as I do them at some point during the event, it's good enough. I love that the enemy is never targetable to me. It's so sad. My bullet shoot. Still dead. Rip those enemies. So we're just living the Rambar life right now. Showcasing what happens when you have accuracy at ATP and your max. Just play deleted enemy. Goodbye, wolves. Perfect. We're trying to make our way through the Sonic game soundtracks. I was saying there are so many times he goes to the Olympics, it's crazy. <laughs> it's like half of the remaining soundtracks are just Olympic ones. I still, I just, I don't even know how that works, like, logistically. I was gonna say, mercifully, I could not find one of the Olympic soundtracks. So we could say, couldn't find it, doesn't count. <laughs> Goodbye, dragon. So what are you playing these days, Eldritch? I think I saw you doing a uh, Soul Blazer or something. It's been a while. We played we played that a while back. So we were doing that on that uh, quintet grind. So we did uh, Soul Blazer, Illusion of Gaia, Terra Enigma into Grand Stream Saga. Rip that enemy. <laughs> Alright, chat chat very much pretty much knows my opinions on Terra Nigma in particular. Playing some Soul Blazer, just finished Saga Frontier. We're about to dive into Chrono Cross. Nice, nice. Did you play a Chrono Trigger on stream before? Or just diving straight into Chrono Cross? It's just be aware the games are actually related. And not in like a Passing sense, either. Okay, just making sure. Some people might not have seen Trigger, but I think most people have at this point. I was thinking about playing that at some point, but I feel like... I, I would probably have to play Trigger again. I, I have mixed feelings about it. I feel like I wouldn't be able to do it justice on stream. I think people would expect something crazy. I'm just kind of like, okay, the game. It's kind of funny, it almost reminds me more of like a Suikoden game, Eldritch, because you go around collecting characters. Although what drove me wild as a kid was uh, being told I couldn't have every party member on my first playthrough, unless I did some memory card shenanigans. And I was like, you bet I'm going to be copying my save data over and duping those characters. I'm not progressing till I have them all, they're like Pokemon. I'm gonna collect them, put them in a bank, never use them again. I'm like, but I have them. That's the important thing. <laughs> Goodbye, red robot. I imagine for the most part, it probably still holds up. But uh, we'll revisit it. We'll get Eldritch's thoughts in about a month, see what he feels about it. I 
At some point, I gotta try Saga Frontier. It's your wife's favorite game of all time. A couple of people were trying to get me to play it on stream before. Like, I'll think about it, but I feel like it's one of those ones that, like, if I feel if I don't play Chrono Trigger on stream, it's gonna confuse a lot of people when you get halfway into Chrono Cross. You're gonna be like, who's this? What's a Lavos? Probably play Radical Dreamers. I think I know what that is. Rip the enemies, though. There's the die grinder I was talking about. I want to pick those up. Oh, I just realized we had no traps. Suddenly that makes sense. I'm like looking around like, where's the, where's the freeze trap? Silly me. I'll have to look into it more. I think I've heard it mentioned in context once. Rip Hellcleave. I guess I could have shot the Barans, maybe? I guess I should have communicated on that one. I'll, I'll call that in my bad. I guess if we do another one, I'll stay behind and kill them. Otherwise, I was just booking it. What did, what did Radical Dreamers come out on, though? Is that, I, I only played Chrono Cross back on uh, PS1. I'm just curious. I know they had a, a big crossover with some other... mobile game a while ago. Okay, that, that time I killed it. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I, just, I just saw the mag zip across the screen again. I've been noticing that's been occurring more often. Uh-oh. The orb. See that? I could do damage and free dango. Called multitasking. I don't even have to move. I'm just like, yeah, good enough. Ruby Bullet. Unfortunate. Take that HP material though. Yeah, I might have to look that up. Just out of curiosity, I might even, I mean, if I like the game, I, it's been a really long time since I played. I got to the Chrono Trigger point of Chrono Cross, but I don't think I've ever beaten it. Oh, this is horrendous. I'm just gonna make sure we hit these and then go and then telepipe out of here. It was a little too slow into that room. Let's someone check the boxes. I gotta at least check the boxes. <sighs> I heard the rare sound effect, got excited. Immediate disappointment. Somebody telepipe me in. I'm not going through that nonsense. Cave, cave, mine. <laughs> We're just gonna check until one of these says ruins. I'm immediately gonna step on it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I was I was not walking through that. No, thank you. It's on Steam. Ah, oh, interesting. I'll have to check it out, Eldritch, for streaming consideration. It's kind of like when I'm going back and I'm playing like the Mana series, like what version of some of the games do I want to play? And sometimes I'll play both if they're different enough. I know Legend of Mana, we're, we're coming up to it, so I have to make that decision in like two weeks. But I'm torn between like, do I want to do the classic PS1 without some of the quality of life changes? 
but the game looks better, ironically. Or do I want to do the I can skip combat and do things like ultra fast, speed up the game? But on the flip side, I miss out on like the PS1 extras. Like if you have Final Fantasy VIII in your memory card, you could get a Chocobo as your first monster. If you have Soccer Frontier 2 in your memory card, you could get extra boss. If you get Chocobo Dungeon? Where's the Chocobo Racing? You get another bonus. So it's like, yeah, just kind of those considerations I'm thinking about. I might play just the Steam version of Sonic Frontier, but for some of the other ones, I'm not as sure to do a little more research into them. Falls is getting deleted. Goodbye, Falls. Like, there's, like, actually stuff missing in, like, the Steam version of the game, which is funny because you think it would have more. And in general, I haven't really been a big fan of the remasters from Square Enix. I just feel like they're just kind of shoddy most of the time. I'm gonna call them out on it. I especially don't like when they do like that mobile font on some of the games, like the Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster. I was like, can you unmaster it? What happened? I'm gonna go with a big no thanks on that one. Wow, that was such a bad short cycle. Oh my gosh, that was painful bad what the boss just did just then. Oh my gosh. Was that worse to RNG? I mean, fortunately we still killed the boss, but that was super bad. Yeah, the SF1 master was actually good. They restored a lot of unfinished content, made a lot of quality life improvements. Yeah, that that's what I was thinking. Like, Saga Frontier reveals like a net positive. I don't know if I felt that way about the Legend of Mana one. Because, like, I, I, play, I put a lot of time into the Legend of Mana on the PS1, so that one was one I was more intimately familiar with. So I was like, oh, it's really missing those things? I don't know. Like, those are the kinds of things I want to show up on stream. Oh, and speaking of show up on stream, at some point, Eldritch, I do have to play through and complete Soccer Frontier 2. I'm assuming you've played it? I think the thing that kind of, like, turned me... Wait, is that a laser... Oh, an arrest laser. Wait a minute. Wait, relevant item? Hold on. Where is it? 50 hit arrest laser? I think that's good. Go grab that. There we go. Trying to play, didn't float. Sorry about that. Yeah, I think the thing that mostly turned me off about it was... Uh, it kept relying on like the combo pocket so like if i at any point took a break from the game it just didn't remember dual combos i know that annoyed me but i thought like from a visual standpoint the game is very beautiful it's better than unlimited saga uh, oh that might be the one is that the, is that the ps2 one eldritch i played one where it's like a board game is that the one i thought about being masochistic and playing that at some point I, I have never been able to finish the game. The difficulty jumps in that are wild. <laughs> just like, it goes from, okay, it's not too bad to what the, it <laughs> just came over. <laughs> just, there's no in between. I'm just like, uh, okay. And I think I made the mistake of playing as one of the harder characters where I needed to win a 1v1 versus a boss and the boss was like hilariously too good against me. And I'm like, well, I guess I die. We'll do another one. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say Eldritch. I remember that. I'm like, what the dead? <laughs> see that? See, Unlimited Saga was one of the first no, no you games. <laughs> like, you want to damage it? Like, <laughs> I'm going to kill you. No you. Done. <laughs> You're like, wait. Wait, that's a mechanic? And then you die. There's there's no other words. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely... I think, though, before I go fully into, like, Frontier, though, Eldritch, 
I do probably want to go back and stream uh, Legends 1 through 3. I'll do, I'll do that as my lead in into Saga Frontier and maybe Saga Frontier 2. That'll be what I consider the Saga series. Keeping it mostly early. And then it could be like, well, technically you should play Final Fantasy 2 because it's like a Saga game. And I'm like, I could, maybe. I actually had fun with that game. Yeah, I'm a little scared to commit to some of the Square Enix games. I have a really strong bias against them, given that uh, I have just not been enjoying their latest games whatsoever. They get like a one chance every few years, and then I just end up disappointed. It's one of those shame on you slash fool me once scenarios. You love the Final Fantasy Legend Trio? I never got through one because it was very janky. Two, I mostly just lost save file, and then three, I did actually beat, because that was more story oriented. We're playing a Final Fantasy game after 10. Know what, Eldritch? I think if you're of the same opinion with me with RPGs, you stopped at a good time, Eldritch. You didn't miss anything. Did I buy a 20 hit Rambling May for 12 PD or no? asked Tiggy. I would not be able to tell you market prices. I do not follow the prices. I'm gonna put that as a big question mark. That's a help leave question right there. Resident expert trader help leave. Another shift to level 20? I don't think I want to. X was the last great in quotations Final Fantasy. Yeah, sadly, uh, April Fools did not line up on a streaming day, and it felt kind of weird to do it on like a Tuesday, since I, I don't stream Mondays. I was gonna do uh, Final Fantasy X laugh percentage, Eldritch. The only goal is to get to the tightest laugh scene. <laughs> I mean, I can still do it. Maybe, maybe we'll do it later. Don't need any other context. Be like, it'll be fine. Maybe I'll show off uh, breaking the Blitzball game. It's not needed for the run. It's just called flexing. Actually, you know what? I might as well just kill those other enemies. <laughs> You're like, watch as I pass to my own team members from behind the goal for about five minutes. Oh, what's that? The score is still tied and you have to have a... Have to have somebody with a point in order to continue the story. Wouldn't it be a shame if I just never let anybody score or I just always kept it even? <laughs> you ready for the three hour blitz ball? <laughs> Alright, to not confuse Elk Leave, I'll take his telepipe. If 50 hard on FOMR then it'd be fine since 30 or more ATA FOMR is the one you may need to anyway. True. And Rouge time. Well, thank you for sticking around, Eldritch, for a little bit. Hopefully you have a good night. Get some rest. Enjoy, Soul Blazer. Oh. I don't have invincibility. That's what we call a heartbreaker. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, that panic heal. I did almost die, though. I was legit put at 52 HP. Don't mind me. I'm just going to rest of my brains out. You have a foam roll and zero hit rambling may. So, curiosity, Tiggy Pro. Oh, no, you said foam on the run. I know I read that as raw moral. I was like, what are you using it on the raw moral for? Yeah, they're not super difficult to get. How's this, Tiggy? We'll do some episode two farms for you again. We did a little bit of it last time we streamed. There's not an RBR that really lines up with it, but if it's rare drop rate, it's like it's an RBR. Because I do like that virtual, excuse me, maximum attack VR. I always call it virtual because technically it's VR, but it's not VR. Game be trolling.
What am I aiming at? I don't want to do episode two unless I'm doing an Uber. I think Temple's okay. I don't have any problems with Temple. I have a lot more problems with Temple's split screen. I still think that is absolute garbage and unplayable in the GameCube. But, uh... <laughs> I don't have any problems with PC Temple. Well, not as much anyway. Unless they like doing a lot of the squiggle rooms. Then I just feel upset at them. Sadly, a lot of Temple just kind of devolves into late game. Do you have Hell Needle? Yes, no. Then fun will happen. Not interested in it drop wise, but it has Rambling May. And also Vivian. It's like, play this, upgrade your Fobarl. Which one is which which farm is Gurren? Shuren is uh the grass assassin. Which one is Gurren? Is that episode two? Is that the uh spaceship or whatever? It's kinda sad though, because I definitely did pink ID. Episode two Del Saber. Look at that. I, I remembered a spaceship run. Chad, you should give me a round of applause for that. Do you know how few times I touched spaceship? It's like that area doesn't exist. <laughs> I played it once for a combat shield. That was literally it. Yeah, the sad part though is that playing as a force in episode 2 is still kinda... Mm. So I definitely would have ID'd my characters a little differently. Like, I would not have necessarily made my Fomoral pink. I think she was better as white ID, to be honest. So that's probably my only regret for change. If I get another- if they do another section update, I will definitely swap that in the future. Because she was originally white ID, because I, I wanted to get slicers with her. And I didn't realize how bad her damage was in episode 4 until much later, and then I'm like, oh. That does make me sad. She's okay in solo play, but it's like, if I'm gonna play episode 4, it's usually group play. Just dodging all the strikes. Get out of here. Oh, team is swinging over there. Let's help the team. There you go. I was gonna say, Tiggy, what I what I find for motivating for episode two, if you do the Cal's Clock Challenge, <laughs> you could say you're actually secretly going for Easter Rappy. Let's call that the added bonus. <laughs> or the VR quest, both of them are good for that. I'm very happy they fixed that, because for the longest time, those Raffi rares just disappeared during holidays. Episode 2 was literally pointless. <laughs> Some ideas. I was like, oh, you wanted Vivian? No thanks. You better enjoy these joke items. That's all you're getting. So while it did depower it slightly when it's not rare enemy, it became actually usable in a events. So take your pick, I guess. Where did 
these. So yeah, I had so many, like, zero Gurins that I just ended up going for a hit Shurin, because I was bored. That's what happens when you do too many, uh, gambles. <laughs> then I ended up with an influx of Shurin. I was like, oh. I was just going to commit to the damage, in case it wasn't targeting me. Thanks for the heal, actually. That's useful. Ooh, I got kind of lucky that wasn't nice. That could have killed me. I'm just going to die, mate. My healing's too low. I actually took less damage with ice actually phenomenal. What is my resist? They're the same? Huh. Okay. Every time I go to take a shot, the spinner is just right there. It really sucks. There we go. Get out of here, falls. Yeah, sadly, I did get a couple rambling maze, but none with hit. Oh, Cleef helped me get mine with hit, if I recall correctly. Okay, a slightly less tragic amount of damage dealt to the boss now. Should be a dead boss here. I like how everybody is like looking at the boss. I'm just like looking the wrong direction. <laughs> I'm just like, it looks cooler to not look the same way as others. Goodbye boxes. <clears throat> So I think we could potentially do one more, and then we should talk about what to do next. I don't want to do TTF the whole time, We're, otherwise I'll get burned out on it. It's still odd beat, so I definitely don't want to do any episode 4 yet. Uh, restock real quick. I can believe in the uber rare chance to play yellow ID endless. It's time has technically come. I'll bring in a I would bring in a rock cast for that. So that way we have traps and bigger damage. I think he's just chilling in the lobby. And at some point, we need to get uh, Dango a uh, Parasitic Gene Flow. So that'll be in the rotation at some point tonight. We'll switch over to Blue ID. Hmm. 
I cannot tell what shield Dango is using. Is it modified red ring with but it's white? <laughs> Or is that a different shield altogether? Rip the hilt outs. Oh, it's Dark Ring? Oh, okay. I need to get one of those at some point. I have the anti-light ring, I just need the anti-dark ring. Anti-dark is from uh, Tyrell's, but you complete all the kills, right? Rip still dragon. Nice. Oh, Cleave has confirmed it. Or it's like 20 PDs. I wouldn't mind going for that as a group. That could be something that would be worth going for when we have a higher level team. Although honestly, current team's pretty strong. I just don't want it to be like, here's my fresh level 80. <laughs> It'd be a little, a little painful doing ruins. Goodbye, Volmer. You hardly existed in this world. Ooh, that was a soul animizer. Let me actually go pick that up. Get a quick little restock there. Just violence on that nano dragon. Oh, missed killing by 84 damage. That's so sad. Anyway, time to telepipe. <laughs> Yeah, and this is also pretty good for Easter event. It's just, I would say it's maybe not as strong as like Ego, just because Ego is faster to clear. But roll number of enemies is still pretty good. Goodbye, D Low Ray. Or Raleigh, excuse me. Pull back into the right to move closer to the boss item. Watch as we get trolled. Sadly, nothing worth picking up. Yeah, at this point, I'm mostly just on a quest to level my blue ID, my yellow ID. So any excuse to play them, I got this at this point is good. I think we have sufficiently warmed up with the green ID. Check while we wait for Sinnoh Red to pull. Damn, he just got deleted. 
Oh, it's so sad. When Hellcleave debuffs them, they can't get through my defense anymore. Thank you, Red Ring and Virus Armor. I like not trying. No need to be super worried about positioning. Be like, yeah, gear's good. When he found goes on level 30. Okay, so I'll try to stunlock with the spread needle. Let Imperameter run on ahead. Oh, don't remember if Baran's drops anything on Green Eddy. Oh, why'd the other one shoot early? That's unfortunate. Ouch. <laughs> I actually knocked it down with a single shot. That's that's good luck. Let's see, will I get cheated and not destroy the screen again for some reason? While also destroying the boss. Let's see, two monitor, three monitor. Hopefully three monitor. There we go. I'm not sure what happened the other time. Maybe I missed a monitor and didn't realize it, like one of the mini screens. Normally it goes like that. A three monitor is the guaranteed kill. Goodbye, Vol Op. <laughs> it's so sad. The boss tries. Oh, photon drop. Oh, yeah, speaking of which, I gotta figure out what to do with my PDs. If anything. I just save them for spearing. A claw got in the way, that is so sad. That Arlen interrupting our combos. Ooh, almost. Almost a combo kill. Pick up a spare escape doll, I guess. Ooh, picked up another item at some point by accident. What did I pick up though? Oh, or maybe not. Oh, the PD. Sorry. <clears throat> I was like doing math in my head. I was like 28. I was like, no, no, it was 29 before the PD. I okay, swapped a Heaven Striker. Getting here before nine minutes is hilarious when we do extra farms. This means we're steamrolling. I thought I saw somebody using Vulcan on these. It's like, oh, I think it's just last one. It's gonna have like a heart attack. I was like, oh my gosh. I can't even imagine. This would be atrocious. The long day delay in between targets. Holy. Nightmare tier. Oh, come on. Why am I missing specials? Game, please. 
Where's that RNG chat? How dare Ramar miss? That should be banned. Uh, it's a walk forward. There's a chance I won't get hit. If I had just walked forward slightly sooner, that would have worked. Hesitation lost me the dodge. There we go, I landed the sacrifice. Let's throw a foey. Oh, hello. Nice. Love Dango doing a little arm pump. No way. Seriously? Holy. I'm on fire. Oh. Oh, red hot. 44 defense. Red hot. <laughs> wow, that is that is a lot of red rings back to back. I I guess I have to level my Hue cast now. Operation Level Me will come into effect at some point. Uh, oh, it's just clubs. I don't care about clubs. Well, we go put that away. It's not... Wait, wh what are the sets on my current red ring that this is a debuff? Am I looking at that correctly? Huh. I must have a decent red ring on this character with at least 60 defense. It's the only explanation. Well, that goes in the box. Leave everything the way he is here. So there we go. Yeah, been enjoying Ramar TTF quite a bit. I'm s I'm struggling a little bit with Hugo Seal TTF. I think it's more like figuring out the exact timing on Drill Launcher without the attack speed has been kind of a rough process. Because it's just like going back to like two very different attack speeds without a lot of practice in between is kind of difficult to feel it. Yeah, I think I might just use Red Handgun. I, I've been trying, but it's like, it's just been really... It's just been really off. I don't even mind swapping, it's just more like the actual speed of it. I still don't get it consistently. Like, I'll hit it, like, in two sets of combos, and then I'll whiff, like, by the third. Because you have to put, like, a delay in it still. And it just, it felt terrible. Well, anyway, I'm gonna switch characters. <laughs> Operation Get an Upgrade succeeded. So let's do some casual yellow ID. Lots of enemies to kill, episode one. I figure this kind of covers our bases here. Plus this character needs levels. And then I'm sure chat will not complain about having a character with a lot of traps and a lot of ATP. He's another character who's literally just waiting for Red Ring. You're wide open! Welcome, Hito Designer. Hopefully you're doing well today. Thank you for the follow. Friend Striker. Ooh, he doesn't have an Excalibur. Ooh, he already has items in his inventory. Oh, this is going to be interesting. It'll be super fun. So yeah, let's just do a couple Endless, and then we'll... Uh... Maybe we'll assist Dango with some episode two. Figure we'll go through a nice rotation. 
I think it may be too endless into uh, RTs or whatever. Heavenly Battle, why does he have this on him? This away. Oh, is this, uh... Oh, it's not. I was gonna say big arm, but never mind. A couple of these away. Hopefully you're doing well, designer. Sort of a little bit. Love PSO for a long time, played on Dreamcast. I have never played the Dreamcast version, but I heard a few people talk about it before. We played, uh, where I played more specifically, GameCube first. Then, I think I literally read like a random article talking about them keeping private servers alive, and then that's where I found Avinia. So I was like, okay. Might as well check it out. There's been a lot of quality of life changes in this that are pretty good. I am not liking... Oh, he is a Heaven Striker with hit. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> that got my attention very rapidly. Yeah, so it's a private server. Uh, you can... I could get the link. So yeah, the first link is for the exact website. You could download the client for it if you are interested. But it is alive and well currently. There we go. I'm more surprised I remember my own commands after not using them for months. Yeah, just free account. You just go in, potential level of the character. No worries, Hedo Designer. So we do help people going 1 to 80. Definitely just reach out as needed if you have questions. Tiggy is coming. Sure thing. Yeah, there's a lot of people here that give away items as needed. But we get a lot of extras of, like, not quite top tier, but still good enough to carry you through, like, pretty much all of Ultimate. So rather than just junking those items, we just give them out to new players. Okay, so we'll do VR, Endless. So we don't usually have to worry about falls. So it's okay if you fail the objective. Passing the objective in this little mini quest just means more Masetta. So it's nice if you pass it, but it's not mandatory. So if all you want to do is charge Vulk and go boom, that's fine. Avoid taking damage. Uh, I'll think about it. I'll get the next wave for Tiggy. I mean, the raw number of enemies here is kind of fun. Ooh, I got tagged. Dragon broke my streak. So sad. Uh, this kind of room I usually confuse trap and turn my back on it for a bit. Come on, there we go. <laughs> Goodbye, the room of enemies. Come jump to me, witness what happens. Perish. It's okay, so I think we already don't have to worry about falls. The so team has passed the objective. 
I'll try to point out if there's a healing circle, since some of them have it. Oh, you can see traps? That's good to know. A avoid taking damage in ruins. Come on. That that's just rude. What a rude objective. Anyway, goodbye all these enemies. I mean, I love- I actually like yellow ruins, from what I recall. They have pretty good rares, just not a good boss rare. Which is perfect for this quest, because we're never getting a boss rare from ruins. Unless a miracle happens. Uh... Guess I'll hit with my Heaven Striker here. My Charge Arm again. Void healing. I think this is a room with a healing circle at the end. So I'm gonna play more aggressive with my traps here. Just to make sure that I reset them. I'm pretty sure one of the doors has it when it's over. Goodbye, Lily. Yeah, here it is. I'm, I'm getting my traps for sure. Ooh, 11 freeze traps back. So good. Avoid healing. Okay. I'm gonna say the intent will be hopefully they don't even get a chance to hurt me, but we'll see. Sino. I blinked. T Tiggy just deleted that enemy. I was like getting ready to set up. It was like not needed. Foolish mortal. Tiggy is here. Tiggy raises his hand. He giveth. He taketh away. Well, that Baran's tried. We'll give it. We'll give it points for effort. Oh, I got hit. Get away from me. We're still getting little time extensions here and there, so we should be able to get complete loop. And generally speaking, unless you just really, really don't want to reset, it's probably better just to end it on one loop. Although it is nice that it takes you to the shop if you don't want to go back. We'll see. Depending on our time, we might just play it out. I'll just lure these guys over here for easy kill. Hello, Sorcerer. Goodbye, Sorcerer. Oh, I even hit the Del Saber? Nice. No penalties. Love to see that. Just the HP material. Avoid using Masetta. You know what? I think I'm just going to take that penalty. <laughs> be like, Chad, I'll be real honest with you. I think I'm just going to take the penalty. I don't think I care. There'll be a... Oops. <laughs> Just, I don't mind losing a little bit of money if I save a lot of time. I will, I will take that time loss. Or take that money loss, I mean. Like, oh no. If I had Berserk weapons, I would consider it. Oh, Red Barrier. Congratulations, Siggy. Look at, look at that. We're getting random <laughs> box, box drops. What a great quest. Avoid healing. Oh, this is a fun one. Help me with the brands. I'll try to stun it. I am stunning it. Yeah, there we go. I I stun lock with charge arm chat. That was commitment. <laughs> Do you know how annoying that is? Oh man. Get out of here, stupid brands. Yeah, if it was last one, it would be like easy mode. Charge arm, I'm like, hmm. Gonna make sure we got that timing down. So we're almost at our first boss. Avoid healing, okay. Yeah, we definitely want to freeze trap whenever we see Delta Sabers. They're just too evasive to leave alone. 
The best part is, I think Tiggy's got, yep, <laughs> Tiggy and I doubled up. We're like, no, 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 these gunners are not getting another turn. No, thank you. So yeah, I think the pace at which you get the enemies is pretty good. I mean, look at it, we're at 126 XP. To me, that's a good quest. It's not like the best in the world, but it's like, I would play it. Because it means we're getting enemies at a good pace. Also getting a lot of boxes throughout, which is kind of nice. So get ready for a boss. I'm going to equip Spread Needle in case it takes us the bolt up. That's my option select into the boss. Random mag dropped on the floor. Rip the mag. Oh. I don't have an Excalibur, but Cannon Rouge is probably fine. was fun. Team had enough damage. Two Excaliburs, I'm not worried. Just do a little bit of chip damage here and there. No penalties. Congratulations, team. Void taking damage. Um... Sure. Just unlocking the Nano Dragon. Love to see it. You just bob into the music. Oh, I was like, what froze me? Didn't take damage, though. I want a freeze trap here, I think. Good freeze trap. Void Death. That's, that's probably my favorite one. I, I want to see those in Ruins for the most part. The Void Damage one is perfect for Forest. Caves can be kind of annoying just due to the fact that there's uh, Nano Dragons. I guess depending on what Room of Ruins, it could be good or bad. So we're getting some Spread Needle chances, I think, in this room. Isn't bad. <laughs> Thank you, chat, for shooting the freeze trap. Buys me some time. Nice. Nobody died. Avoid losing Masetta. Well, team, give that uh, give that objective a salute because I'm planning to fail that very faithfully here. See so if we get less than one penalty per player total. So if we have four players, I think we're allowed four penalties. We get a bonus versus falls. But I'm gonna be real with you. When you're yellow ID, you don't want to see falls. That fight is pointless. So I, I would gladly take that penalty. Big L. We did it a couple times. We had one single player one where I managed to get through without uh, getting uh, more than one penalty. And then we did a multiplayer one, which surprised me. I was like, wait a minute, did we seriously pass that? But I feel like with multiplayer, it's a little more RNG oriented. Some of the ones are just so bad for certain players. And again, if you're using like spread needle instead of charge arm, you just lose a ton of time. Just as I said before, I'm not interested in losing. Goodbye, Bulmers. Protect our hunter. Another dragon is so dead. Ooh, power material. Oh, it's like really far away. 
Let's still go for it. Arguably not worth. Uh, there we go. Each bit material dropped in the other place. Avoid taking damage. That's a pretty easy one for Forest. I think I'm guilty of not using enough fire traps when I do this mode. Because I try to save them for caves. I thought about donating, but I wasn't sure if anybody actually might lead. I actually, I actually thought about it. Oh well. I guess I could have donated once if I wasn't sure. Oh well. Good save. Yeah, I was at like 88 meter. I was pretty close. Level 20 and level- or two level 15s. Oh, here we go. Here's the reason this quest is godlike. The random invincibility is so good. I have so much fun as Hunter with Berserk when this is active. I'm like, oh, I don't have to care at all. Oh, I'm going in. <laughs> like, light up, enemy down. Like, this, that's it. There's nothing in between. It's only got four rooms left, so I might as well just throw a freeze trap here. Because the last room is going to be the boss, so I need to use, on average, a couple more. And I don't even think we did all the forest yet. My material, nice. Yeah, I don't think we did the forest arena stage yet. Ooh, this one is the worst one, actually. I think I saved a couple of free straps for this. This area sucks. Hey, my Waddler's asking what week it is. It is rare week. Oh, I got Wombo comboed. Rip me, chat. So, hey, chat, remember how I was complaining about too high HP kills you? So, I didn't get knocked down by any of those lasers. I just straight up died. <laughs> just straight up died, chat. No question. 100% died due to HP. So unfair. I hate that mechanic so much. Up those. So I'm hoping maybe for a random spread needle for somebody. Technically, as we saw before, there was a Heaven Punisher in Ruins. One of these enemies drops it. So I, I it has happened on stream. We recorded it as a clip. So technically, this is an Uber hunt. There's just not, like, a whole bunch of them. It's like assorted Ubers rather than one or Uber. Hmm. I'm gonna check the boxes over here before I go to the next area, just in case there's something actually good in them. Oh, maybe it is Crimson Assassin. Oh, avoid using Vesetta, but it's Forest. Well, that's fine. Since I died, I got all my traps back, so trap usage no longer matters. Wow. With D-Band, level 20, they can't damage me in forest? But I'm not even using Red Ring yet, that's, that's gross. I missed a 40 hit Ray Gun, but it had nothing on it. Avoid healing. Well, sadly, if this wasn't the final area, we could have recovered traps. I mean, in theory, you could recover traps, but we're probably going to reset rather than do another. So we'll do one more Indie Bell Row. Guess murder attempt. I'm going to say no to the Sorcerer. Nice try, though. So, I, I guess to elaborate further on Rare Week for Kite there. So, it goes through weekly rotations of bonuses. So, for example, it could be 150 XP if it's XP week. It could be 125% drop anything rate, which is just the common chance of seeing an item. Uh, today, it is Rare Item 25% chance. So, that is mostly influencing, like, rare enemies what they drop and bosses. Drop rate is generically good on most things, as long as they're not capped. And usually ends up meaning you get a lot of PDs and materials. 
just through sheer murder. I should have switched to Spread Needle there. I realized too late I did not swap into it because I knew this had to be Vault Up. Well, not new, but it was a good possibility. So I think I'm going to miss this because I don't have the right weapon. Yeah. It could have it, it could have been a different boss, to be fair. It could have been Dragon. But I should have swapped into that regardless. Yeah, I just don't usually prefer... Unless, like, the new RBR has, like, a crazy amount of them. I just prefer to do limiter hunting during uh, major events. Because the quest just gives so many more uh, Gerdabulus to fight. It's like a difference of, do you have 6 Gerdabulu at a quest or 20? Like, it's, it's pretty significantly different. So I just save it up for there. Although sadly, we're pretty far from one of those events. It won't be until at least August. By random enemies. Okay. So I'm gonna restock, and then I'm gonna hand stuff in. Although honestly, I didn't use that much in terms of supplies. So let's reset it. We should be good to go. V8 is nice. I'm assuming since you mentioned limiter and V8 that you're playing pink ID. And an end the quest. Take my 14,000 Masetta. We'll do one more of these. Maybe we'll switch over to RT. When we roll main and femoral all for now, well. Definitely Phonuman is super good for episode 4 clears, but Phonu World's not bad. briefly tried mine offensive on stream and went, you know what? I don't think I want to play this quest. I'm just quitting out. <laughs> Avoid using Masetta. Well, salute the challenge. I plan to fail that with grace. Dungeon the dragon. We're definitely going to put a little freeze trap here. Really don't feel like dealing with Lily. Let the team's hunters take care of the dragon or whatever. Oh, foot on draw. Nice. Oh, sick dodge. Thank you for the lure. I do want to make sure we pop the boxes, because they do potentially have PDs. I, the boxes in this are good. Another don't use Vesetta. So sorry, chat. Mace of Adamant, that's okay. <laughs> I'm like, listen, I will murder the sold out. Hey, look, random ad slot. Look at the box. Look at the box drops pay it off. So good. I forget if this room has a ring. One of the mines ones does. Ooh, I'm on the wrong side. That was a mistake. I'm gonna do this and run past it, maybe? That kinda worked. 
When you're solo, you loot everything. I think the problem is that that is what I would like to call the beginner mindset, mostly because if you're bothering to loot everything really early on, you are not doing it super efficiently. Like, people will do, like, if they want money, they'll do box runs. Like, it, it's good to check, like, for grinders and stuff like that. Oh, hello. Did that come with it? This casual Excalibur, is he's playing with us? If it did, it's low hit. Oh, no hit? That's still good, though. It's just kind of one of those things where, like... Unless it's, like, a literal, like, 50 hit common. Why is everything avoid using Vesetta? I feel like I'm being targeted. That, uh, it's just usually not worth picking up. Get rid of these enemies here. I would say it's, like, not the worst thing to do when you're first starting off. But when you're sitting on, like, I don't know, like, 2, 3 mil and miss out of, like, do you really need to farm more items? Or just pick up what you need, which is, like, materials, grinders, maybe a 50 hit? Yeah, I feel like most people have max team points. I'm not sh like, technically, I guess you could contribute to our themes. I don't think we use it even. And even then, I'm not very active in doing it. It's just kind of like one of those things. Like, I'll put it... I guess to put it in perspective, if you just did, like, a box run, in the time that it would take you to do a normal quest of... Spe if, especially if you... Well, I guess it depends. If you pick up enough items that you cap during a quest, that's fine, but if you're, like, legitimately telepiping out when you hit max items, it's like, oof. Box runs are your friend. So I'll, I'll put a little asterisk on that comment. How did that not hit them? have the ring? No. Yeah, so when we play on stream, I definitely will not pick up more than, like, a couple of random items. That's mostly just to give away to other players. So you'll see me stop for, like, a rest of 15 or something. Well, that's about the extent of it. If I see, like, ye old ray gun, 30 hit, I'm not picking it up. Nice event egg. Make sure I pop these boxes for the team. It is a shame, though, that some of the quest money is pretty bad. I like it when we get to the anniversary event and the money starts raising up and like bosses drop like 12,000 Masetta and then I find that hilarious. I was gonna say there's no real downside to joining a team. In fact you're actually stopping yourself from being able to do quests by not being on a team. A lot of people just kind of log in for major events. Enjoy your food. Rip these enemies. Really gonna make me pull out the prison shooter? <laughs> I bring that item just when I get tired of that enemy. I'm just like, hold on. I, it, it's not to stop charging enemies, it's to deal with the death claw. I think I got enough of those. So hey, at least we're we're proving why we do these different runs. Who so far have gotten the key items. Another don't use Masetta, I feel targeted again. 
Although, I didn't even need to freeze trap there since I was invincible, to be honest. That was a waste of a freeze trap. Yeah, I just want to make sure every time we come in here we pop boxes. Because so far it looks like two players have benefited from the box rares. Which is nice, because I think box to, like, for example, I don't pick up a lot of items from boxes, but I think they're always worth checking kind of things. Just because they could be PDs, or they could be like a red barrier, or they could be ad slots. So, I think we will add a little nuance to my earlier statement. So I check them for that. Sometimes I'll pick up the Meseta, but I don't think it'll take me long to pick up. <laughs> it's, it's every challenge avoid using Meseta. I'm so sorry, team. It's okay if it's like one or two, but now now I feel straight up targeted by the game. Like actually ridiculous. Fine, I'll just do power attack. Are you happy, game? That Lily got absolutely blasted. <laughs> it showed up, it's graphic loaded in, like five guns lit up, GG. <laughs> the mech guns just blew him away. Alright, so, so, so this is, it could be Robot. Let me do Spread Needle. Although you watch, it's gonna be Dragon just to spite me. Oh no, it was actually the right one. Okay, so now I can bring Cannon Rouge. This is the this is the cast option select that I have to go through. So now I know it can't be Vault Op, and Dragon and Worm Boss I would both use Cannon Rouge on. So GG. We get to outplay the enemy this time. I wonder if they're going to bring any of the... Oh no, I don't know what they're called. I was going to say polymorphism, but that's not the right word. That's a coding term. The poly area changes in where they had those special event ones. <laughs> See the mag zipping around again. So that, that was so sick. That really was one of my favorite quests. Oh, I'm so... Wait, hold on. Get the glitch? Oh, no glitch. Oh, I got tagged in the end, but that's it. I bought time for the team. It was a valiant effort. Another escape doll. I guess I'll use a regular monomate. I don't... If I only have one, there's no sense of holding them. If I have ten, it's like more of a consideration. Void healing. Okay, I could probably do that. Uh, we're just gonna have a nice little nope in the air right there. Oh my gosh, I broke out my Vulcans. Who is this person? I thought they were way closer. I mean, it froze them, but I thought they were way closer. By these enemies. I mean, I'm not gonna heal, so get outplayed. So we have some decent V101 chances. We clearly got Excalibur earlier. That's always nice. I guess all the, the, the ring restores are later. Kind of unfortunate. As I said before, I think I missed one of the ones in the mines because it's one of the long room ones. It might be where the room is darker that it has the ring versus like the later version of mines. This character is not too far off from leveling. I do really like Endless, but I don't want to get people burned out on it, so that's why I try to rotate it. It's nice that it is random though. Adds a bit of variety when you're playing a lot of the same quests over and over. Make life easier for the team. We have four freeze traps. I'm saying the odds are pretty good. One of the next two rooms has a heal trap, restore traps. As long as I don't do, go too crazy here, I should be fine. In theory, I could also just die for more. So many dead Merlins. Nice. 
We're using Mesetta. Yeah, the one that looks like the normal arena here, I think also. So we're getting like one part of forest. If we get like the lower forest arena, if that makes sense. That one definitely is a heal ring. These enemies are not worth trapping at least. Wow, that is actually kind of unlucky to go this far without a big one. It must all be literally at the end. Okay, I just got Mag Blast. I think I gotta pop the freeze. Th th this one of those enemies that's just too annoying to like, leave alone. I got two left. I'm gonna try to hold it for the next room. Sorry, Del Saber. You're one of the only priority targets for me to freeze. Wow, we got another one with no healing circle. That actually sucks. Oh, hold on. I don't want to get lasered. Hold on. We learned from our mistakes. We're going this way this time. I am not dying to the shenanigan laser. I'm just going to break out a nice little frozen shooter here. Where the team can do things. I'm actually gonna start popping the boxes that are up there. Maybe team will get something nice. In theory, it is ruins, so it could be actually good stuff. Speaking of which, I should check the boxes up here. Nothing interesting. Regroup with the team, put a fire trap down. Ooh, took a little damage there, that's fine. Thank you, fire trap. Come on, healing circle. Oh, this one has it, this one has it. Nice, okay. So I can I can afford to just burn mine randomly now. Like when I'm repositioning, just throw fire traps, because it is free damage. Picking up that uh, healing circle. No way am I going without it. There we go. Happy little restore. So two rooms where I have 20, 20 freeze traps. That's going to be nasty. I'm going to get wrecked. Oh, the sorcerer lives, seriously? That's unfortunate. Oh, never mind. Did not live for long. Welcome, Nate. Hope you're doing well. Goodbye, claws. Alien icon is interesting. How did that not freeze? Game, please. There we go. I'm like, listen, I got nothing better to do. Oh, the music stopped. We hit the end of the soundtrack? We did hit the end of the soundtrack. Well, I think I got bad news for the team. We're back to the Olympics. <laughs> One can never escape the Olympics. Also, we probably should have mag blasted like two rooms ago. That's also a side note. Since we only have a boss left, it's gonna be probably dragon or worm boss. The 
Ben Egg, nice, nice. <laughs> We're just running around, just throwing freeze traps out like they're not important. Just like, I'll just dump them on the floor. We don't need them. But anyway, boss time. Might as well as Cannon Rouge. What's the boss gonna really do to stop me? Probably gonna be Dragon. Void taking damage, sure. Rip Dragon. Bonk. <laughs> Poor dragon. There's so much raw damage targeting the dragon right now. Not even to Lord and it's taking like 4k every shot. It's so dumb. Poor dragon. Oh. Yeah, I think my thing bans the uh, song shares. I still don't know what the permit command is. I thought it was permit, but it is not, as I found out last time. I'll still take a look at it, though, Nate. Let's go through here. Pop some boxes. Armors. Anything fun over here? I definitely don't like the normal spot of the dragon. Like, the, the item was all the way over there. Like, seriously? What is that? Oh well. Okay, enough of this character for now. Let's go switch over to Blue ID. Restock my items before I forget to do it. Actually, did not use a single item. I think chat healed me the one time I thought I got injured. GG, I'm gonna go collect my money. I'll take the time loss for this. Ooh, 16,000 Masada. I basically paid off charge. So I'm gonna switch over to... I guess given the team comp, maybe I just play Force into this. That'll carry me if I play Force, right? Blue ID Force. Although... I need to level my Huka Seal. Although... I'm gonna do that later. Yeah, let's do blue ID for us. We have we haven't played him in a while. <laughs> Technically, if he hits 180, he could use a red ring. Maybe I'll Excalibur with him then. So let's do some respective tomorrow. Try to get Dango another item. my chat. Well, thank you for playing Tiki. This is your final run. Hopefully you had a good time. There we go. I was going to say I'll fix this eventually. Did I want any of these with me? I do have another Tempest Cloak. I probably want to give that to my other character. He doesn't need it, right? He's using Ignition? Yeah. Because so I could put add slots on that and then it could go to the other character. It's got three seals, Gafoe Merge. Oh, he just naturally has a Gafoe Merge? Well, that's kind of funny. I'm assuming that's not the spare that's in here. We'll find out in a moment. Nope, it's not even the spare. I guess you could leave it on him. Okay, I do need those adepts though. You may be able to keep one of those permanently since I did get rid of one on my Rock of Seal. 
Because I was using that 20 accuracy to hit Cap and also get resist. But if I just need resist now, it doesn't matter. She had ATA. Um... Would be useful to bring here. <laughs> yeah, Blue Donna is back. Zigglebot woke up. He's taking a long nap. So many random technique levels. Well, if anybody wanted some force techniques, please let me know. <laughs> Just have a wall of them unloved. Um. Well, you know what this character doesn't surprisingly have? I don't think he has a slicer. He could take a striker of Chow. That's fine. We can remove that from there. Yeah, I don't have a slicer fanatic for him. Hmm. I will bring demons. Actually, it doesn't matter. I'm overthinking it. I'm with the team. They'll carry me. <laughs> I I have me good for the other room. I'm fine. Double adept V801. We're good. I mean, I guess in theory, I should probably bring a melee weapon since I don't have Slicer. Let me bring my Bringer's Arm then. I'm gonna do like no damage, but it's better than nothing, I guess, technically. Sure. For now, I'll go unarmed and just me get things. Me get it, Zalor. Time to go. Actually, does he have a Glide Divine? That would actually be important for me to wear. Sorry, one more check. I saw the Striker. I didn't think I saw the Glide, right? Oh, he does have one. I'll spring that then. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Max debuff distance. Let's go. Almost went to shop. Parameter gradually climbing upwards. 153 with the raw moral. A motley crew of characters here. So we're just gonna press the debuff button. And I guess spam me good. Although those things are resistant. But I still got it, so I guess it doesn't matter. If you still land it, it doesn't matter. Put a little fireball out there. I <laughs> poked it with... Blinded. Oh, me get worked? Oh my gosh, time save? Time save is real? It worked? I couldn't tell if that was my Megid or not. It was, probably wasn't. That, that was that was way too clean. That had to have been the Hell Needle. <laughs> wow, I just I sh I denied that wave. Goodbye. There we go. We're we're playing the uh, RNG lottery today. Spinning the roulette wheel. Nice. There we go. I'm contributing. Who would have thought, chat? <laughs> just, just, I brought me getting Glide Divine. I don't plan on doing any damage. It's all up to the team. Since team's using a lot of hell, I guess the lore isn't like strictly needed. I mean, like almost all of that is hell. But definitely on bosses, we'll be debuffing. A little lingering fireball out. Oh, that was a little too early, I think. They're already dead. HP material. Eh. Ooh, I love clipping the vision through the wall. That was interesting. Just 
Suddenly we have X-ray vision on everything. A little debuff for the team here. Make their life easy. Oh, I actually hit the Rappy. Nice. <laughs> See, I get excited. I'm like, <laughs> when Megan actually works, it's like, you did it, Megan. You you had it. Oh, there we go. I think I got it again because I saw the XP. Thank you, Megan. You did something. It'll, it, you, you don't do much often, but sometimes you do something. Oh, there we go. I think that worked again. A little gafoe out there for everybody. Keep up the room. Laugh at the enemy. Can you imagine? Power material, HP material. I should probably at least pick up the power material. Well, Worm Boss, prepare to be debuffed. I'm gonna mash that Zalore for chat. I move closer. Might be a couple zaps in here. A little bit of damage. Eh, it's like not great damage, but at least that's a lord. <laughs> when I'm with a strong team, that's a lord 30 is like I'm doing several hundred damage. That's all that matters. Like how he holds the Glide Divine. He just puts his like hand on his hip. He's like, yeah, I did my job. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, like, that's not bad damage. I think the boss is dead here. Every lightning zap doing like several hundred. I mean, obviously it's nothing compared to the monstrosity of Cannon Rouge, but uh, did like a thousand or so damage to the boss, like real HP. It was okay. Up. All right, so what did we learn last time? There was the raft, we look at the bolt, and then we go left of the bolt. It's like right in the middle, maybe? The bolt's not bad. You can like do like one step and it corrects. I think like getting the alignment is so annoying. Raft, please. Why will you not cooperate? Camera, please. You know what I want to do. Oh, well, good enough. I'm just going to hold forward and believe. Oh, uh, slightly too far. Slightly, slightly. Yeah, it's like it's like you have to, your foot has to be on the bolt, but I guess the angle slightly matters. I tried to be again. Oh, I almost got to Megan it. I'm so close. Oh, look at me. I did it. MVP of a room. <laughs> when I only have one target to kill and it has no EDK, I'm on it. Oh, I think I got it. I will say, this version of the Olympic soundtrack is much better than the other Olympic one. The Mario and Sonic at the Olympic one was kind of disappointing. Oh my gosh, I landed the freeze? No way. <laughs> MVP time. Oh yeah, this is the fight where I don't do anything. Um, I mean, I guess I could unequip to do more damage, or I could try just shooting it, I guess.
Yeah, you're immune to... There we go, got a little assist XP there. Sadly immune to EDK. Go ahead and rebuff the team real quick. I did not have invincibility. That's fine. Ooh, 33. Big yikes in terms of damage. Ah. Uh, I revived during the cutscene. Hell yeah. Saving Dango that XP or whoever. <laughs> And that's why we put it on the toolbar. <laughs> Save that XP. Right, mostly nonsensical item drops. I don't think I care about any of those. I think we'll do another RT, and then we'll maybe do one more set of quests. That'll be the end of the stream. It's not gonna be like a super long one. I think the testing so far has gone well. I haven't seen it like die, but we do have to switch it to Let's Chat. Because our last PSO stream did end with the crash. But it seems better today. Downside is the voice quality might have dropped a little bit since I changed equalizers, but might not be noticeable in the long run. Do like the pinnacle song. I'm going for it. Ooh, random escape doll. I think I want that. Ooh, got the kill. Oh, you know what I should have brought? I could have worn I could have worn the uh what was it, dirty life jacket for uh Miga. Four enemies. Oh my gosh, I think I actually got both of those. The sad part is because, like, me, it is, like, somewhat effective. I'm getting almost as many kills as the Yuka Seal. And then I make up for not damaging the boss by just having a stronger debuff and buff combo. Hopefully you've taken the detour. Respect that. Did it just loop into the same song? What happened? There we go. Oh, I'm putting in the work. I'm winning the 50-50s. Wow. Oh, God, God Technique helping out. I'm winning the coin toss. I did it. Spoke too soon. Nice. Come on. There we go. And all cleaned up. I think hopefully he's picking up items. We were going on that killing spree earlier. Nice. Photon drop. I'm gonna stand still, gain my TP back like a pro.
unfortunately with Glide Divine and Zalor here, team should be able to get a guaranteed Zalor 30 on this Gal Griffin for some big Cannon Rouge damage. I mean, if the boss targets me, I'm kind of okay with that, to be honest. I'm taking all the attack detention from the team, for the most part, except for that last tornado. It's so close to done. Team's basically got it. Ah. I killed you in the sky with Barda. Take that. Actually died to fo it actually died to Barda. It went vertical, doesn't matter. Barda doesn't care how vertical you are. Perish. Chat, to no one's surprise, I have not received Gal Griffin's ring. <laughs> or wing, excuse me. A oh I must Oh, come on, a 55 hit heart disc, uh... Man... <sighs> it's like just enough that I wouldn't make that a magical Serena Artista, unless people really need it. Just, oh, it's so sad. Rest Caliber is being circled. Ooh, a 50 hit Caliber. Did you want that, Dango? Actually rolled decently well. I'm gonna dance near it for Dango. Could be a uh, Dark Flow candidate. Where's that Disca? I mean, I guess if somebody wants a 55 hit Disca just for Magical Stone and Artista, it's not the worst thing you could add. It's better than a 50 hit. I think somebody was looking for Magical Stone. I forget who specifically said it. I know that was said on stream at some point. So I guess if people want that, it's not bad. Okay. Tiggy and Imperameter. Well, did you want a 55 hit Disco? Or do you have better? Because at least that's better than a 50. Hellcleave needs another one also? Oh no. I'm gonna start a fight in the chat for this uh, Disco. I mean, if the team wants, we could just do some like red ID stuff. If team wants Magical Stone or Artista that bad. I don't mind it. There's other things I want with Red ID. Oh my gosh, I actually killed it with Megan. <laughs> Wasn't that like a 20% chance? Come on, game. How did I get the 20% but not the 59? Whatever. So sad. Yeah, that's fair. I'll hold on to it, maybe. So it just depends on if you're going to burn PDs for the high hit disc or not. But I'll hold it for the team either way. Oh, you already got 60s? Never mind. Invalidated. Is that a 50 hit draw Raygun? Is that, is that worth getting Hellcleave 50 hit? Do people want that? I don't remember where Drawl is on the HP Steel scale. I'm assuming it has to be Gush. Yeah, I think I think it's too low to roll up. So I think at least today we got to see some actual like decent items drop. We we were being teased with like the 55 Vulcans with no special earlier. So at least some items seem some semi usable. It's <laughs> just the most polite way of phrasing it. And chat kills so quickly, I could barely get there and debuff in time. Tina Mono Fluid. I'm just gonna go to the side, because I know if it charges at me, it's just gonna hit me anyway. Heal the team up a little bit. It's pretty fast kill. Yeah, I had a feeling it probably had to be a gush. 
not surprise me in the slightest. Team of Mech for the- oh, jeez, Kaboomed. Go away, Recon, leave me alone. I'm being bullied, help. Okay, how long is the song going? I know it repeated. Oh, it's eight minutes? Oh, it's another one where they can't cut the songs properly. Which has to be wild. Like, I think the song is nice. I don't think it's like eight minutes nice. Chat is on it. I'll just move on. I knew I pretended I was going to deal with that box. Yeah, some random salores. I think I have those, though. Ooh, a trifluid dropped. Excellent. So I guess I'll try to kill the spinner, just because. I believe we established it as Yunchang. I will take it in the face for the team. I, uh... Okay. This room I should be able to actually debuff. Ooh. Full room debuff, get wrecked. Like Dango just basically, it looks like Dango just kind of like taps them. It doesn't look like a sword swing, it's like boop <laughs> with that backhand, they just die. Okay, just built up enough meter to donate. Mission accomplished. <sighs> Me get it. So I could donate, so we could get a decent buff going. As long as at least two people have it, it's probably fine. I know at least one person got it, because I heard the mag sound. Nice. Well, I heard another one go off. Live, Danko, live. <laughs> Okay. I think we're good. If two people got it, we don't even need a level three. Unless you're literally like one hit away. Come to us, Tango. It'll be like level 60. This boss is. We do not need like a. Honestly, we don't even need above level 40. Now it's gonna be super high level. I have donated. Let's give a salute to uh, Ogoflo. <laughs> this boss is about to disintegrate. Yeah, with the damage changes, as long as at least two people have it and the other two donate, it's usually strong enough. Especially if a force is here to support them. Almost max level, which is hilarious. I fully expect the team to lead this enemy. I, I don't think this boss is gonna get an attack. I will I will mash the lore early, because I know I target from like the heavens. Especially with Glide Divine. So it should just be instant. I'm just gonna start grancing because it's free damage. I did, I did 100 damage. I did it. <laughs> I'm winning. <laughs> On the plus side, me chasing the orb does not require me to wait since I'm just going to glide divine it from wherever I touch this orb because there's no way this is not within the lore range with glide divine. So this is basically GG right now. 
Goodbye, boss. So if we just wait a little bit to make sure that the boss looks around, we should be fine. And already debuffed. There we go. It's like, what attacks does Olga Flo know? Who knows? We will hopefully never see that ever again on stream. Goodbye, Olga Flo. So there we go. Dango got a little bit of items. I think Tiki got a red barrier. Got some ad slots. Little minor upgrades here and there. Olga Flo is heart attack, pretty much. Rip Olga Flo. See, I'm pointing. I'm like, I want the parasitic gene flow for Dango right there. Oh, no Parasite Gene Flow. Did get money, though. Uh, since I did not use a lot of resources, I should not need to go back for anything. I'll put away the 55 hit Disca to give away to people. It's not bad. Gene Flow and Red Ring in one night common. I mean... I have like a bazillion gene flows, so I would not be surprised if we got it in two. So if chat really wants, I could do two more instead of just one more. We're we're about due. Usually every eight games or so, somebody gets one. I think it's been five games as of this one, if I'm counting correctly. So statistically, somebody is due soon. Not necessarily me, just in general. <laughs> it's just how the odds work. When there's multiple people rolling. Get rid of these. Don't need these. Ah, that's a lot of mana grinders. Well, you know what I should do? Just wear three seals. I'm one defense shy from one three three seven. That's so sad. I might as well just get the resists. <laughs> also, also, I just looked at the resists for the first time with uh, three seals double adept. 78 fire resist. Jeez. What an unkillable monster. Let's do another one. I'll just make sure to play blue ID respective tomorrow during XP week. Someone want her to level. But I figured Mr. Freeze has not been used in a while, so I think this is fair game to level him. Nice, nice, nice. I was going to say, the true miracle is if I get uh, Gal Griffin to break the ungodly streak of no rares. It's technically the same odds as Parasitic Gene Flow. He, <laughs> that boss is the statistical anomaly for me. Oh, pop these boxes. Nothing of interest. Gafoe. Oh. I paralyzed briefly. It's sad. Where are you? There you are. Did I freeze you? Nice, I did. I should help with the team hitting him. Oh, I actually got the Lily kill too. Nice. Here, um. Goodbye, enemies. You're so dead. 
There's so much hell and other nonsense coming towards us. Oh, died in one combo. Parameter climbing to 154. Getting closer to that beloved 180. I almost participated in that fight. It was close. My spell had the right intent. It was too slow. Watch as my Gafoe hit some of those traps. That was interesting. Oh, come on. How am I feeling the 50 50s? Come on, odds. I believe in you. They didn't believe in me, though. It's half wondering if it was faster just to bonk them to death. Come on, Megan. Now it's too late to work. Need to do like three casts ago. Oh no. This is somebody else that does not know how to trim these songs. One second. Yeah, like that does not need to be a seven minute song. I'm sorry. Better. What is the boss gonna do? So now I just gotta do some fast pass for damage? Because if people are using Cannon Rouge, I might as well do this. I did like two Cannon Rouge worth of damage while it's alluring. Targeted there. Yeah, plus three seals if I wanted 360 lightning, does more damage. to the happy athletics throw event music. <laughs> okay, so let's see. look at the bump in the wrap. Stand on the rivet. I guess as long as your right foot touches it, it's lined up, I guess. Not like we don't have like a million years to correct the camera angle when it fights you. No, that's too angled. Still too angled. In please. I think this is fine. Yeah, this should be fine. <laughs> I love that I had that much time to correct the position. That's insane. Oh, it's like a smidge off. A smidge. Very close. It's like two or three degrees off. That wasn't terrible. I had to take like one sidestep to reach it. It's not too bad. It's 
It's better than going like full sideways at least. Oh, I did it. You had fried fish? Welcome back. We had a uh, fried Olga flow, extra crispy. I mean, sometimes I just blink and the boss disappears. <laughs> or I blink and the pan arms disappears. It made me eel. I see what you did there. We have been punned. Nice, a bene. Hmm. I mean, I guess I might as well shoot the dragon. I don't have a good setup for it, but it's better than nothing. Since I'm not doing anything between now and the end of this run. At least some max accuracy. In theory, the demons will land before it dies. Have a Zahn to Foey. Hmm. Oh, like fooey. I see what we did there. Yeah, this poor boss. Sadly, I can't really do anything as a boss on this fight. I need like a, a better equipment set for this character. Like, I could fireball, but it does less than shooting him. Unless my ATP is very low. Should I take a rest? Uh... We'll take a break at some point. Yeah, so sadly, ATP is not quite there. Maybe my Rafoe out damages? Just due to the fact my ATP is low. Either way, I'm only doing like maybe a thousand damage to that boss before it dies, optimistically. Which does not matter in the long run. Should probably reapply buffs to people. Do this. Well, that's true. I could do unarmed casts. Get more Megan per second. Well, good luck with the limiter hunts. What quests are you running currently for Greta Bulu? I'm assuming you're doing that versus Blue Idea, Stark. one. That's all that matters. <laughs> I can pretend I participated. You disconnect a lot? That's unfortunate. Have an unstable connection to the server or something. It's not super common to get disconnected. The server so far has been pretty smooth this whole event. Yeah, getting to that last room in ma I'm assuming you mass attacks. The route C, like 4C. I 
Because that has a lot of Gurdabulu, but it just takes a while to get to. Yeah, the RBR from last week had a pretty good quest. Or a limiter. But sadly, luck was not on our side there. Goodbye, random enemies. Come on, 50-50. Yeah, there we go. Leaving the 50-50. Force is not doing any ATP. I could technically bring a melee mag with me, I guess, if I wanted to. That way, in theory, it would do boss damage. Okay, there we go. There we go. I put in the work. That was like five in a row. Yeah, there we go. Nice and clean. We're gonna go back to Blind Divine for the range and the hilarious resist of 78 fire resist. damage. That's about what I thought. Oh, I can actually grant some from up there. That's kind of funny. Oh, I got shocked. So let's see. Will I get the boss drop from this? It was not meant to be. There we go. Headset was being a bit finicky. Should replace it this year at some point. It is kind of falling apart on one side. These char this character's levels is almost purely from very hard mode. Like, I've done a, like maybe seven or so RTs with this character, including tonight's. But a lot of it is just leveling new players with this character. This gear requirement is not very high for very hard, at least. Get wrecked. I'll take that 20% chance and believe. Yeah, let's re equip Blind Divine just to become more immortal. I'm going for the 8% Mega chat. I'm 
unfortunately did not land it. Rico box, please. Hmm, escape doll. Do I really want it? Not really. Thought about it, but eh. So I could probably do one last quest. Because RT does take quite a while and we're still not done. I'm gonna go to sleep at a somewhat normal time since we'll be streaming tomorrow. But hey, at least we could say we got about three hours of BSO in. Enemy was all over me. I guess here's the deal. If we do not get a parasitic gene flow on this attempt, we'll redo this. If someone gets it, we'll just do a TTF or something instead. How's that? Roman. Okay, we're gonna glide divine in case somebody's ATPing. They were dead nearly instantly. He needs to take it take at least one chainsaw hit. So I'm at 30. Why only get two on a chainsaw? That's terrible. Oh come on, you can hurt me more than that. There we go. There's the 3%. Alright, so I got enough to donate. I, I literally barely got it coming here. Might as well as regen, get some rest of back. Does not seem worth burning a tri fluid here. More than enough to rest as a lore without needing another fluid, thanks to regen. Okay. Help people twins, I'll regenerate TP. Nicely, nicely done. Yeah, almost 400 TP. That should be enough. Probably cost me like 6-7 recess, recess plus as a lore at the end. Isn't bad. It's poor boss. <laughs> Time to get even more TP. Look, it's paying for Zalore. Don't die, mate. I was gonna say, what was that spam one in PSO2 that people kept saying? Something along, li along the lines of, like, you better try, mate, or you'll die, mate. <laughs> Different little last heal there. Excellent. So much spare TP for the end. I can't even hit the boss for like 5 damage. Ooh, actually I should have waited to swap. That might have been a mistake. 
So I, I expect to do a whole like 40 damage to this boss. We'll see though. Oh, it's actually okay damage. There we go. I did a thousand with Bringer's Arm without having a melee mag. It was okay. Saved a little bit of time. Better than me doing like 300, or not even 300, like 50. So yeah, this character just mostly needs a melee mag or a min or a class max one. I guess that's what the PDs will go for. <laughs> Be like, I'll cleave. He needs a finished mag. This way. Oh, no parasitic gene flow. Looks like we'll do this one last time, and that'll be the final run of the night. <laughs> like the awkward waiting as we're just waiting to get sent back. I'm like, I want that Masetta. Oh, I never played PSU. The reference is lost on me, sadly. Okay, so we'll go back to Glide Divine. His life is fair. Bad twenty thousand to set up and final run. So yeah, I think we got a uh, got decent variety in. Got to do a little bit of endless. I've been missing endless. Earth element spells, interesting. Come on, Dango's Parasitic Team Flow. We believe. <laughs> it's not the worst odds, it is very weak currently. Dango did hit 181 though, congratulations. Reading what you wrote and my brain is like trying to translate endless nightmare? Is that we are you referring to regular PSO? Just trying to go through and think about that. It's both the team. Oh. Um, endless nightmare is okay. I guess it depends on what you mean by farming. Like, it's definitely not good for farming XP or money. Unless you're just more referring to, like, spread needle, heavenly arms, stuff like that. mob jobs. Uh, yeah, I guess people do it for Ubers. It's not something I usually run. It's one of those ones, I did it early, I got like Swordsman lore out of it, Heavenly Arms, a couple basic spread needles. I haven't really gone back to it since. I think we showed it off on stream the other day. We had, uh, what was it called? The Halloween quests. We were doing a lot of Halloween quests for farming the Ubers versus that quest. Halloween quest OP. I 
I like that you could do that at any time of the year, technically, as long as you got the Halloween cookie. XP hunting is grinding. Hunting drops is farming. I've heard it used interchangeably, to be honest with you. Like, some people are just farming enemies for, like, event egg. Or they'll be farming uh, bosses for XP. And sometimes rares. Depends. <clears throat> like, they'll, they'll do the TTF grind slash farm. This is too high. It's not worth me casting. Try to slow them though. Kind of also similarly, where people are doing like the the TTF grind or the Psycho One grind. It just, I, it really just depends, I guess. I can see why you would separate them. Just that I'm used to hearing it both ways. Gotta hear held outs. Get some healing in there. Um, this should be fun. Alright, let's see what the boss does. Are you gonna teleport on me randomly? Oh, no, you behaved yourself, sort of. I suppose do some damage here with three seals. Speed up the clear. Rip and parameter. The bots had its revenge at last. It's now farming players. in here just to do some damage it is helping with the shell clear we're doing like 500 of the boss every time that's not bad goodbye <laughs> i was gonna say i'm gonna master the art of standing still for that tp Feel sees with 45 total hit. Not bad. Yeah, I think with double adapt, I only really need one trifluid for the whole run. And if I'm smart with holding still, I can get a few more Migads. Still contribute. Micro adjustment and good. Let's see if I can help the team here. Nope. <laughs> Valiant effort. Missed the coin toss. Although, to be fair, that one was weighted not in my favor.
punched. Unfortunate. Try something a little different in this room. See how the enemy reacts to it. Okay. About the same. I was curious if I could have lured the Dell Saber away from the team, but I wasn't first in the room. Is that hop is very annoying. Actually, land a demon. Wow, there we go. Big participation award there. I did it. Yeah, it's another boss where I don't really do anything other than buff the team. No need to. Sadly, can't lure this boss. They're immune. Without like a really heavy ATP setup, I'm not going to be doing more than like several hundred to the boss. So I literally might as well just hold still and regen TP. The rest of the team has enough shifted to last them long enough. Uh, I'll heal the team with the rest of... There we go, that was confidence. <laughs> I just... I was gonna say, Phonuman wins by doing absolutely nothing. Did I get hit by the dragon at the end? That's funny. Might as well just pop boxes. I'll take a trimate. That's not a bad item to pick up. Need to eventually swap out my diamates for trimates. So I was just playing on very hard, so I don't get as many. Nice healing. Yeah, here's where I can make the decision how much I want to participate. So I might as well just pop a tri-fluid here versus later. Rebuff the team since we're here. Make these guys stand up. <laughs> Traded blows. That was a bit unfortunate. Well, I guess I can eat that tri made it picked up. Rip the enemies. Barda the trap off of me. Technically, I could barda, it's cheaper. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and use the tri fluid here. So, technically, I don't need to do anything in this room other than activate the Marillas for the team, but I'll participate and burn more TP. It's fine. Solanimizer, not too bad. There we go. See, we saved a bit of time. Speaking of which... Hey, there we go. Team beat me on that one. <laughs> Team's like, don't you dare upstage me. I'm like, you're right, my bad. Regen that TP. Not the one I was aiming at, but sure, if you want to... The game decides that's where I was looking, that's fine. Yeah, there we go. Got another kill. Hopefully we'll split all. That'll mean I'll have more chance to me get things and participate. So with that, I might need a minor die fluid or something to finish the run, just because I'm participating.
Oh, come on. I, oh, I failed 355 percent. That's brutal. Ooh, trifluid. Times five, apparently. Um... I guess... I mean, if chat doesn't want it, I'll go pick it up. <laughs> I'm just learning the art of not using TP. Uh, let's see... Glide Divine... And... Actually, no, Striker Chow first. Buff Team. And Glide Divine. Poor Gal Griffin. One day you will yield to me your boss rare. <laughs> One day. It's not a forbidden legend. I will earn mine at some point <laughs> instead of having it gifted. There we go. Although sadly I don't really have a purpose for Gal Griffin on this character. Let's bring some trifluids for my force friends. I mostly just see how little TP I could use to beat the quest. When I got nothing better to do as this force. It's not like I'm doing damage. Oh, hello. That was a lot of damage and unfortunate. That almost killed me. Eh, I'll do a couple of Bardos. That'll show the boss. There we go. I love its little shadow spinning on the floor. That makes no sense. I was gonna say, is anybody surprised I did not get the boss rare? <laughs> I hear the rare sound effect go off, but I'm not picking up that terrible spear or whatever it is. Oh, I think it's a sword, actually. Bring the striker chow with me. Eventually, I need to rebuff the party, but it's not in a rush. Still got like three minutes of it left. So I could very easily last them the room. I'm gonna debuff them so chat can see them a little easier when they teleport. Oh, there we go. Landed the Megid. Up the die grinder. I guess I'll participate in this room. Build the group. I will definitely be the one that hits the switch up here since I got nothing better to do. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Hmm, box check? Nothing interesting up there. That's also the nice thing. At least with like the Resond, I could do that really easy check in case they're not popped. Don't have to worry about like, oops, only slicer or something weird and worry about angles. How can I not debuff this enemy? Oh, because it's technically in another room. I was gonna say, that's not fair. Like, Glide Divine should definitely reach from there. Peter. Oh, there it is. It just kind of went on its own little journey briefly. Ooh, my material. We gotta go back for that, for sure. Potentially new players might need that. In theory, I have another force to level at some point, but I probably won't do that during Easter event. So no even beat shenanigans today. But I think Sunday will be RBR plus even beat shenanigans. I think that'll be a nice mix of quests. So that way people that play tonight get to see a little more variety. And another Trifluid. 
Huh. I have no idea where that Sinnoh's going, but it died. That's all that matters. Team, take care of those. I'm gonna move on ahead. Well, I have to make sure not to trigger it for the team, so I'm gonna wait. There we go. I was gonna say, don't mind me, just checking this room out again. I guess I could do the box check. I, I guess I've been slacking as the force. I should have been doing this check earlier. I sometimes forget it's there. Because in my defense, it is like a hidden passage. Yeah, I might as well do a box check. You never know. It is seabed. Ooh, I need to get hit again. There we go. Perfect. I got enough to donate. Did yeah, Bringer Circle is surprisingly decent, despite having like 200 something under cap. So I guess in the future, while I'm waiting for people, I could bring in like a Heavenly Power instead of God Technique just for more damage. Because he should be at near max luck anyway. should use well now let's let's leave the rifle out this allure range on the boss is abs is completely absurd and insane I should be able to hit him completely off screen with Zalora even with this gun oh did the music pause Oh, team, team got me while I was switching the music. That sucks. Rip. Unfortunate timing. It did literally just fall asleep and then I was trying to restart it. Oh well. Yeah, sadly my controller inputs were done on the browser window versus the game. I did react to hearing the PSO sound effect, but uh, YouTube did not care for those inputs. Okay, so we'll do a simple debuff. Still do some damage here. That went really fast. Poor boss. I was gonna say, somebody crit. <laughs> somebody crit more than once. GG boss. Get outplayed. Okay, we'll do this to start the fight faster. So I'm gonna debuff into Bringer's Arm Swap. So we have, I have time anyway. Oh, somebody hit it way too early. Team's trolling. Team actually trolling. <laughs> don't don't mind me, chat. I'm just gonna I'm gonna solo the boss real quick. My striker child, the team. Oh boy. Rip. It's okay. It's always in the run where something dumb happens, <laughs> you get a decent item. 
<laughs> you stop thinking. Oh no, you're reminding me of JoJo. You're gonna get launched into outer space. Oh, there you go. Yeah, kick in the cutscene. Take that cutscene. Dango's like, that's mine. I'm gonna put... I'm pointing at Dango. Dango's flexing on the sword. Come on, give him parasitic gene flow. If I get it, I'm giving it to Dango. Just want you to be aware. Did not receive it. Rip. Oh, well. We got more chances tomorrow. Do angry stomps. Boom. The angriest of stomps. More angry stomps. Oop, nope. Got the nod. Oh, this character's not too far from leveling. Levels actually matter, because I can get ATP. And I could probably swap his V801 for like a heavenly battle, heavenly power, or centurion, I guess. Yeah, he's getting close to potentially wanting a uh, max stat mag. Once he gets to like 186 ish, it makes sense to switch over. I don't need his ATP to be max, but higher than zero would be nice. Alright, so let's put away that. I don't need that right now. He can keep the Kofoe merge. He can keep an Adept if I want him to. Nah, let's put it back for now. So, let's take a look. Roughly how many eggs have I received during this event so far? 14. It's okay. I think maybe one of my other characters has one or two on them. But it's a bit a bit more slow going, mostly because I'm not doing uh, monster quests. But hey, that'll be what Sunday is all about, potentially. In the mid-afternoon. So yeah, I think I'm going to go get some rest. I think we had... Good time overall. I have to figure out what to do with the red ring. We never quite escaped the Olympics. We started not in the Olympics and then went back to the Olympics. Sonic always going and trying to get more golds, I guess. But anyway, uh, overall, I think we saw a good mix of items. Sadly, the Excalibur did not drop with hit percentage. But definitely better than nothing. R, W, please, E. I'm not sure what that means. My brain does not do acronyms. Just like the Olympic is over, they bring it back in. I mean, it feels like it. We can, we can complain to all the people doing the OST cuts for this game. Why are some of these songs like 10 minute loops? Oh, rest well. Honestly, what happens when we got fast phase, I thought let's let's kill the next phase really quickly as well. Oh, no worries in parameter. You could blame it being late night. That's usually what happens. Gameplay, not as tight. It is what it is when it comes to those things. It's not like I was playing 100% on point pretty much the, the last hour. But I, I made some attempts. And at least I did remember to go check the boxes that time. I remembered finally after doing like seven RTs. Oh yeah, just go through the door. So I'll make sure to do that definitely if I play Force again. Welcome Prismatic Blaze. We are at the tail end of the stream. So we'll talk a little bit. But I think from that standpoint, I don't think we have anything to add to the PSO video. So we're going to cut it off here. So if you did, well, if you did, well, blah, 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 talk again. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have, I guess, a guess a good day good night we are kind of for me it's definitely past midnight but we're gonna say good night i guess for now to the people viewing but hopefully see you again in the next easter part